All right, we're going to create the opening page now, and we're going to show you how to uh, format your text, how to create bullets, as well as how to get uh, text wrapping around your image. This is a really um, neat lesson on how you can get your pages formatted very quickly. We're going to add another style to our style sheet for an H2 heading. We can tweak what we have for the H1 and then uh, modify the H2, and I'll show you how um, how this can all come about to where it's um, very clean, very interactive, and, and easy to work with. All right, so let's see what we got here. Uh, I know this; some of these areas are very difficult to read and and work with. That's because these are library elements. It just uh, it makes it a little more difficult to tweak and work with. But nevertheless, let's delete some of this information here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and highlight all this, delete all this, and in your folder for your uh, lesson files, we have a folder called text. Okay, we'll open that, and then the opening page, let's go ahead and highlight all of this text. I'm going to do a control A, okay, control C, and then I'm just going to come right in here, and I'm just going to paste that right in. So by default, we're looking at a paragraph formatting. No problem. So I'll just take this. And I'm going to add my H1 formatting to this. Okay. Let me bring back my palettes here. Okay, that looks good. This right here, I want to make that an H2 format that's italicized, maybe a little bit smaller than this. So to do that, we'll just copy our H1. So what you could do is right click and choose duplicate. We're going to give this a, a command of H2. So you can see it's very easy to work within uh, these pieces here. Okay. And I'm just going to make that instead of a 16 point, maybe a 14 point. Okay. And uh, let's just open up our options here. Let's do italic for the style and that looks pretty good let's leave it at that alright so I'll highlight this text and I'll choose heading 2 okay that looks really good right there now up until the word hour here this right here these are bulleted text so to make bullets it's as easy as clicking one button. Just click this button, and it adds that as a bulleted piece of text. So we'll hit Enter, Delete, Enter, Delete. And Oops. Let me undo that here. One too many deletes. All right, so there we go. Now our font here has kind of switched itself back to... Um, we, we don't have that as a paragraph tag. Okay, we're kind of out of luck because these are not paragraph, these are um, bullets or U I, uh, ULs. So we could go in and set a UL tag. Okay, that'd be very easy to do. Or we can just add it to our P tag. So let's do that. So we'll come up here to our P tag. P. And we're going to add a comma UL. So we'll save that, jump back over, and you can see now, nice, clean format, everything is good to go. Finally, what I'd like to do is add a graphic to this, because this looks kind of plain. So let's go to our files palette here, and let me see where my image is. When it comes to things like this, I prefer to actually uh, drop an image by clicking this button just because I can see a preview of my image. So let's uh, move out a little bit. Let's see. There we go. We'll go to the vase underscore images folder, and there is a purple triangle vase. Say OK. And this will be purple vase. All right. Now, the only thing is, is I don't really want it way down here by itself. I'd like to get it right up here. So if I click and drag this, look what happens. Okay, The system does not know that we want to wrap text around it. It's not aligned anywhere 
Okay, so what we can do is say, all right, down here at alignment, we're going to choose right. And if you look now, we've got a wonderful um, kind of lining that we've got going here. Go ahead and set that. That looks pretty good. One thing that I really like about this um, right here where you have options is this horizontal and vertical spacing. So if I give it a 10 and a 10, watch what happens. It pushes that text out a little bit and gives it just a nice little bit of padding right there. Okay, hit Control S to save this. We just created our first uh, web page using our uh, shell that we've spent all this time building. But now we are rock solid. As we start adding pages, we can quickly add, quickly modify. It makes for an incredibly fast uh, system of building web pages.